well it's early may and uh my attempt is to go wading for crab waiting for the tide to go out a little bit got my bucket my crab measure i have an old rake yeah it's getting old it's come out of its sleeve here i've repaired it i've done hose clamps put a screw through the slot for this it's loose but it works and then i have my rubber tips on the rake so that's for crab so you don't puncture the shell anyway wish me luck well i'm entering the water uh i want to see how the visibility is see if i can see any crab still got to get a little more daylight i do see over in the rocks somebody's sports crabbing buoy Found a clamshell. <laughs> Found my first crab. I think it's too small, but I'll see if I can scoop it up. I need to get some practice. There it is. I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Definitely too small. Well, I'm here. Somebody's trap has definitely come to shore. I'm not going to show you the name or address. But I'm going to see their trap. If they have any crab in it, I'm going to leave it. But I will take a picture of it, give them a call where they can find their trap. Nope. I have a rock in it for weight, too. So I'm going to get a picture. Take a look. I'm spinning it. This buoy has no name on it. What I'll end up doing is wrapping this trap up and seeing if I could find another marker or a tag or something on it to say whose it could be. So I'll try and find the owner. If not, uh, yeah. I don't know if I have my first crab in there, but it's right there. I think I do. Yes, I do. I had to wait for the waves to show it more. So I'm going to get it from the front where the female crab is. Start a little fight. It's too small. I'm going to let it go again. Let that one go. Yeah. So, so far I've seen three Dungeness. Yep. And uh, we'll get back to you on another one. Hopefully I'll find a keeper in here. Oh, in that crab pot, I looked all over it. And uh, there are no no nobody nothing why they won't put their name and phone number and address i could have called them and said hey i found your pot it's right here so all i can do is pack it out of here but i the line was a hundred and well maybe over a hundred feet long and if they had set it out there the current could have pushed it in close enough for somebody to hand line it in <clears throat> which is what it looks like because it was up on the rocks so someone hand lined it in and probably took their catch if they had a catch thought you thought you should know that I have another crab right here with a female get him lifted up he is a little bit bigger I think I'll put a measure on him just gotta get the measure out I'm gonna hook it to the six inch mark and I just miss. So this is over five and three quarters, not quite six. All right, letting him go. I have another crab here. Oh, he's running. Oh, 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 he is a runner. I had to get after him quick. I almost think there was two crab there. Definitely a keeper, got my first keeper. All right, he's a little mad. I got lucky on him because he started running. Normally I wear polarized glasses. I forgot them. You know, when it's early in the morning, you don't think to wear sunglasses, but it does help see an extra foot in the water or two. And then you can see these crab a little better. So I'm looking for white, kind of a shape. 
usually they have a female right now this time of year they're breeding so the female's upside down and that white edge of the female shell just in front of the crab is what I find because I have this crab in the bucket I was uh, seeing another crab running I'm trying to scoop real quick I couldn't even get the camera on so instead of fiddling with a bucket in my hand I thought I'd take it to shore it's not too far away so there we go I think I have another crab in front of me just another small one I stepped on this one <laughs> it's always nice to step on him he's too small He's only five and three quarter. Yeah, so I'll be letting him go. Bye-bye. Mm, <laughs> Got one on the run. Got one on the run. He's too small. <laughs> yeah, too small. But I seen him on the run. I could push the push the record and start going after him. Small one. I think I got a big one. We'll find out. Oh, uh, another five and three quarter. Just missed. I have one on the move. It's a little guy. It's a female, actually. Here. Let's see if I can get her to relax well anyway she's holding on to the rake there it goes females have the wide egg-shaped abdomen males have a triangle abdomen very slender and skinny if I find a male I'll show you I do have one on the run it's another female There is a slight breeze pushing in now, and the visibility is getting a little harder for me. Uh, sometimes, well, here's a crab right here. Sometimes I come across a crab, but I'm already on top of it, and they're already on the run. That was too small. So, you know, I'll keep looking, but it's going to be one of those quick grab and video after the fact. And the rubber tips here keep sliding down, so I need to pull them back up. I don't want to puncture the crab when I'm trying to get them. After I've got them, these, these are getting old, the rubber tips. So they do slip a bit. So in the video, you will see the tips come down a little bit off and on. I have a crab. Ah, too small. Right after that one, I got another one. Well, here's one. I'm going to pull it up <clears throat> and it's a female <laughs> I was hoping to show you a male I keep finding females that are singles I found a visibility calm area and uh, I see a crab down there it's just too small though I'm right on top of it but while I have you open here I'm gonna kind of look out here while the visibility has gone meaning I can see better in the water Oh, coming across a big crab right now. Game on. It's probably too small. <laughs> he's a fighter. Oh, he got bigger when he got up here. I'm gonna get the measure out. I'll put it on the six inch mark. Oh, he is the closest I got to a keeper besides the other keeper. Anyway, you'll have to molt one more time before you can be a keeper for sports harvest. It's uh, six inches down here. Anyway. All right. Putting them down. I believe I have an even bigger crab in front of me. It'll be a quick grab. He looks like he's ready to run feisty, so here we go. I almost think I've ran into him before, and he was just too small. We'll find out in a second here. He only has one back leg, so I kind of got to fight the pinchers a little bit. We'll give her a try. 
and I'll put this on the six inch mark yeah see he's just too small again okay letting him go I'm on another big one the visibility just opened up this guy is definitely a keeper no guarantee but definitely a keeper and the shells are all in hard shell condition it is spring yeah so six inches right there bam bam got a keeper now i have to make my way back to the bucket and if i find another one i will be double grabbing and then showing you at the bucket i guess two <laughs> i have another crab uh too small here we go again too too small <laughs> yeah i can tell oh i got another crab just in front of that moving my rake tips up again here we go oh now that one has some size but is he big enough <laughs> come on nope too small here we go again another crab <laughs> i already got him he's just too small ah <sighs> that's probably the third time i've caught him <laughs> oh here's one this uh i'll pick and drop i think it's too small but i want to see is he gonna get away that's okay he, he seemed like he was too small so we'll go again okay here's one now i go outside my zone i find one now i can talk about males pyramid shaped and six inch mark keeper <laughs> I just barely get out of the area where I was just talking about and I get this guy so I'll get back to you three <laughs> oh, that was a quick I was just getting ready to talk I already pushed record and then I seen him uh, too small anyway what I was gonna start talking about his visibility is getting low again and i'm looking all over out here i've got three i don't need but a couple usually and i'm having a one of the one of my boys are showing up so we'll maybe have some crab today i don't know anyway uh i'll get back to you on the wrap up if i don't find anything else like i said visibility it's hard to see them to grab them you see a flash of movement and then nothing so there's not a bunch of crab in here, but as I'm saying it, here's one crab. <laughs> well, as you can see, I have four crab. So while I was videoing at the end here, I did find one. GoPro battery died. I had to go home and get another one. I'm going to show you this. Just touches. The tip's broken, so I just hook it in there hook it up against that one and it touches so anyway it's there all right how to do the ending here at the beach if you like this video please press like if you want to see more of my types of videos hit the notification bell and hey if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it'll go a long ways to help me make more videos this is also a clam digging weekend all right so i actually came down here just to finish this and now i might actually go get some clams didn't plan on it all right thank you for watching